Apple may finally be ready to push augmented reality into everyday life, but let's not pretend this is some bold leap forward. According to the leaks, 2026 could be the year Apple Glass quietly shows up. Not as a Vision Pro replacement, not as a serious VR device, but as a carefully watered-down product designed to avoid risk more than redefine the category. Unlike Vision Pro, Apple Glass won't immerse you in anything. No virtual worlds, no full digital environments, because Apple knows that approach scared off normal users the first time. Instead, the real world stays untouched, with mild visual overlays that assist rather than impress. At the center of this experience is, once again, Apple Intelligence and Siri. Two things Apple loves to promise more than deliver. The idea of visual intelligence, where you look at an object and ask Siri what it is, sounds useful on paper. In practice, it depends entirely on Siri suddenly becoming fast, accurate, and reliable, things it has historically struggled with. Leaks suggest Apple Glass will stretch into academic and professional use cases, capturing lectures, summarizing meetings, and displaying notes live on the lens. It's an ambitious claim, but also a familiar one. Real-time summarization sounds impressive until accuracy, latency, and privacy concerns enter the picture. Navigation is another headline feature, with turn-by-turn -turn directions floating in your line of sight. This has been promised by smart glasses for over a decade. Apple avoiding driving navigation due to safety concerns makes sense, but it also limits the feature to walking and cycling where phones already work perfectly well. Cameras are coming, but Apple itself seems to be lowering expectations. These won't touch iPhone Pro cameras, which raises the obvious question, why include them at all beyond basic utility in future proofing? Built-in speakers add music, calls, translations, and FaceTime audio. But again, these are features users already get from AirPods without putting a camera on their face. Then comes the part Apple never tries to hide, ecosystem lock-in. Apple Glass will reportedly be useless without an iPhone, offloading nearly all processing to your phone over Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Lightweight hardware is the excuse, but control is the real reason. This isn't a wearable, it's an accessory that only works if you're already deep inside Apple's ecosystem. Design flexibility, multiple frames, and prescription lenses are sensible moves but also expected ones. Eyewear isn't a phone. Apple didn't discover this. It learned it from years of other companies getting it wrong first. As for timing, a 2026 announcement with a delayed release feels very on-brand. Show the idea early, ship it cautiously, and give developers time to fill in the gaps Apple won't. Pricing under $1,000 sounds reasonable only because Vision Pro set the bar so absurdly high.